Hey everyone, I'm um, terribly sorry this is the first video I've posted in who knows how long now, but I figured I'd put something up tonight. So one good bit of information I thought I would talk about would be what it's like to go get an MRI. MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. So when you're going to get your first MRI, they may want to do imaging with contrast and without contrast. I've had both and neither one of them are too big of a deal to be honest. When you arrive at the medical facility where you're going to get your MRI done after you've checked in and stuff, uh, what they're going to have you do is change out of your everyday street clothes and they're going to have you put on um, a hospital gown which is really annoying and not the most comfortable thing in the world because it's a freaking hospital gown. Um, but anyway, so you take, off, you take off your shoes, pants, shirt, you leave your underwear on, but once you get this gown on, and they call you in to actually have your, ima your imaging done, you go into this big room, and the machine is huge, and you lay down on this bench that's connected to the, M to the MRI machine. So when they lay you down, they wedge your head in between these supports, basically, to ensure that your head doesn't move. Because in order for the MRI to be able to take the pictures, everything has to be completely still. I mean, imagine like you're taking a picture with the camera. You move your camera while you're taking the picture, and then you get something blurry. And it's kind of a similar idea. Once they've laid you down, uh, generally they're going to offer you earplugs. Now, it's important to note that the, the MRI machine is incredibly loud. You, I really wouldn't recommend being in there without all of the without the ear protection because it truly is that loud. It's it's kind to me. It's kind of like listening to the radio on full blast, but not nearly as pleasant. Uh, the machine makes a lot of noise, and it's it just adds to the uncomfortable experience. So they've got you laid down. They've, they've, you got your earplugs in, you're getting ready to go into the machine. Before they do that, they'll give you a bulb. And what that bulb does is, it, if you squeeze it, it basically allows the, alerts the person who's giving you the test to be aware that something's wrong, that you need to get out immediately. If you're having, if you're claustrophobic, you're freaking out, you squeeze the bulb, they'll stop the test, they'll pull you out, they'll get you feeling better. Now, once you're actually in the machine, the way that it's set up is they have a cover that comes over your face and it's got a mirror on it so you're so you're laying down and you've, you're looking up this way and they've got a mirror positioned like this so you can actually see straight out the tube so it's comforting to know kind of your, your surroundings because you're literally in this tube that you know and then you're in here and if you were just looking up you can only see the edge of the tube you cannot move your head at all like I was saying before so they give you this mirror so you can actually see out of the tube which is it's nice uh, generally the test takes depending on what scans they're running it can take up to 45 minutes in my own experience I'm I don't know if it can take longer but in my experience it's taken up to 45 minutes which is kind of a pain in the butt I will, what I end up doing is I use that time to close my eyes, relax, just take deep breaths, and make the experience as pleasant as possible. In my experience, as the test goes on, the operator will let you know on how it's going, basically. Saying, okay, we've completed this scan, we're going to be working on this now, or okay, we've got one more scan to go, it's going to be another 10 to 15 minutes. They'll give you the heads up, kind of keep you informed of what's happening, which is really nice because when you're sitting in that tube, there's nothing, absolutely nothing to do. You're kind of waiting, like, when is this over? So up until now, I have assumed that the, the first scans are be done are being done without any contrast. And so, so here, so from here, if they've completed the scans without contrast, they'll pull you out of the tube, and they're going to want to put some fluid in you, some colorized fluid, that's going to show up on the MRI machine and you can get a different understanding of what's going on in your brain, for my, for my, my brain for my case uh, and whatever body part they're, they're working on. So they'll pull you out and they'll hook you up to a needle and they'll give you some of this, uh, this contrast. They'll add it to your system. So once they pull the needle out, they'll slide you back into the tube the way we originally got in there do another 15 minutes or so of scans in my experience and when that's all done they'll pull you out they'll help you out of the contraption 
they they put over your face uh, that has the mirror on it. Uh, they'll help you out of that, and then you give them your earplugs. They'll help you get up, all that good stuff. One thing that's important is if you've had a scan with contrast, that you're gonna need, you're gonna want to get all that fluid out of your out of your system. You don't really want it sitting there. Uh, so what you'll need to do is after the scan, drink lots of water. That'll help flush out the fluids. But really, there's not too much to an MRI. I think that they're a pain in the butt and they're kind of annoying. But it's really, in the end, it's not a big deal. It's something that, you know, you just kind of have to go through. And the people who are working these things, they know they're uncomfortable and they know that they're really not that fun. And so they usually try and you know, make your experience as positive as possible. So I hope that's some good information for you on what an MRI is actually like and, you know, on how it can go. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say. And I'll see you next time.